students how are you i hope you are fine and you are staying at home so today i am going to teach ukg class and the subject is maths this book and the chapter is longest and shortest chapter number 2 chapter 2 longest and shortest so uh, do you ever heard about the word longest and shortest do you know the definition if not i will try to explain you what is longest and shortest basically longest and shortest means the measurement or the length of an object okay uh, i will try to give you some examples um please look on to that examples and i hope you will understand by looking those examples see there are three different lengths of wooden bars okay one the length is longer then the le length of this wooden bar is little shorter than this and this is much shorter than this too so do you uh, understand Uh, that these three wooden bars are of different length. Can you say me which is the longest of all three bars? Yes, it is the the first wooden bar. Why? Because the length of the wooden bar is longer than the other two bars, and the shortest one is this wooden bar, the third one. Why? because the length of this wooden bar is smaller than the other two wooden bars look at this example this are two crayons okay one is longer and the other one is shorter the length of this crayon is longer and the other one the green one is shorter so which one is the longest the black crayon and which one is the shortest the green crayon see another example there are two fork one is longer and the other one is shortest see students again i am having two, one another example that is two spoon students can you recognize which one is the longest yes the left hand side spoon and the right hand side spoon is shortest students i hope you have understood by all the examples and the definition of longest and shortest so come let's do the exercise come on to the page number 7 and see there is written take the longest object and cross the shortest object there are three pencils given which one do you think the pencil is longer and which one do, which pencil do you think it is shortest yes student the middle pencil is longest give a tick because the length of the pencil is bigger the length of the uh, pencil is longest okay and which one is the shortest the first one why because it is smaller the size the length of the pencil is shortest that's why it is shortest the first one is oh sorry you have to give a cross okay the first the longest is the middle one and the shortest is the first pencil the second one there are three carrots given so which carrot do you think it's longer the middle one why the length of the middle carrot is longer and which one is the shortest the last one why because it is the 
smallest. That's why give a cross. Then the third objects. What are the picture? These are ropes. So, which one do you think is the longest? Yes, the last one. You have to tick it. And which one is the shortest? Yes, student, it is the middle one. Give a cross. And the last one, there are three snakes given. So, which one do you think? It's longest one. The which snake do you think is the longest? Yes, the first snake. Give a tick. And which one is the shortest? The last one. Give a cross. Next, moving to the next page. Tallest and shortest. What do you mean by tallest? Tallest means highest or farthest from the ground. And what do you mean by shortest? It means closest or smallest from the ground. Come, let's do some examples. See, student, which one is tallest and which one is shortest? This, this glass is tallest and this one is shortest. Among these two cups, which one do you think is the tallest? This cup is tallest and this cup is shortest. Among these two wooden bars, which, do, which uh, object do you think that uh, tallest and which one do you think is shortest? Yes, this one is the tallest and this one is the shortest. Students, Come, let's do an exercise of tallest and shortest. This exercise is very interesting. Why? Because you have to color it. So, you have to color the tallest object and you have to cross the shortest object. You, have, you don't have to color the shortest object. You just have to cross it and you have to color the tallest object. So, what are these? These are trees. So, which tree do you think is the tallest among these three? Yes, the first one. So, you have to color this tree. And which among this is the shortest? Yes, the middle one. So, you have to cross it. You don't have to color. You have to cross it. Among this five picture, a dog, an elephant and a giraffe, which animal do you think is the tallest? Yes, it's giraffe. You have to color it. And the shortest object is dog. You just have to put a cross. Coming to the next picture, that is there are three girls. Among this girl, which girl do you think is the tallest? Yes, the first one. You have to color the first girl. And the shortest girl is the last one. You have to just cross it down. There are three buildings. So, among this, which building is the tallest? Yes, the middle one. You have to color it. And the shortest one, the first one, you just have to give a cross. So students, I hope you have understood the two chapters that is longest and shortest and tallest and shortest. So do practice at home. Okay. I will soon come with the next video. Till then, bye-bye.